Yeah, in fact, we were camped out <laughs> a few hours back outside, outside the BOJ. I'm back right now in, in our Tokyo Bureau, of course, is ready to break the lines when they do come across. We we're expecting those, uh, that announcement to come, roughly speaking, in about 19 minutes' time. It could change, of course. Uh, there's no set time for that. But that being said, I mean, this meeting is, uh, I, I guess, especially closely watched simply because you have a policy decision and you also have the policy review which they're going to come out with and essentially how much more they have to do to reach a 2% inflation target. Now, uh, long story short, when you look at this meeting, what are we expecting? Narrow majority of economists that we've surveyed basically think they're going to expand stimulus. Now, that's just first the first step. You take it back, you take it further down the road, down the line, and you're faced with just a whole lot of other questions. So if they choose to expand stimulus, what are they going to do? Are they going to take rates further down or are they going to expand uh, this record amount of, of, of purchases that uh, they're currently undertaking at the moment? So it's also about the timing because the rest of the economists that we talk to here basically say that if they don't do it this time, they're going to do it by the end of the year, if not early of next year. And of course, it's, it's, you, you can't just look at what the BOJ does this time around in isolation because anything they do, the Fed can undo. Uh, and of course, what, in 14 hours from now, we get that Fed decision as well. So um, as much as I, I guess we're expecting perhaps or we're hoping to see some fireworks from the BOJ, at least to nudge the yen out of this downward channel, um, a lot really has to be considered, especially when you look at the banks who basically come out and said, hey, if you take rates from negative 10 bips to negative 20, negative 30, even negative 40, some people were talking about, that's really going to hit us quite hard. So there are lots of permutations. There are lots of outcomes and, of course, the varying degrees to which they're going to be pushing those buttons, if at all, of course, they choose to expand stimulus. And that's the reason why when you look at the Japanese markets, you look at the end, we're basically uh, seeing them well, essentially move around like zombies aimlessly at the moment.